just arrived to Kautokeino and it's now 14 minus degree but I think it feels a little bit colder and it's already dark outside so and I'm not sure was Anni in Masi soon or does it take like a couple of hours still and I have with me inside here Herku 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 Nini So I have plenty of time to figure things out here in Kautokeino checkpoint but firstly I am going to search for toilet I don't remember what was the last clip about other than I'm in Kautokeino uh, this one euro muffin is really delicious I bought mm, that store it's extra cold and it's open till 11 o'clock although it's not open tomorrow because tomorrow is Sunday and it seems that Norwegian people still likes to have their, their like uh, Uh, like day off I remember when Finland had Sundays as day off from stores and so on but nowadays they are almost 24-7 open but yeah this muffin is really good uh, Herku ate all the food I gave her and then I bought her big ear which she loved I don't know what Anne is thinking that I'm spoiling her dog over here, but anyways. Uh, next step for me is to eat this muffin, of course, and then go to bed and wait for Anne to send me some sort of signal that she is nearby, Kautokeino, so I can drop her depot back on the designated area so good night for now it's two o'clock I woke up uh, and I will go with Janne to the checkpoint area so I know where I need to go and where I need to drop off the depot bag for Anni when she eventually comes uh, I think she will be around seven here. So, 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 I have a couple of hours still time to sleep after I have check out the premises and look, there is a reindeer statue and now it's minus 17 uh, clock is now 5 and Anne just called that she has approx 10 kilometers to go so I have to take the depot back and go watch her dealing the stuff and hopefully I can sleep a little bit longer or more after this but yeah otherwise it's quite cold minus 17 this looks like professional handler. 
dog, dog leash and then the depot bag. And look, look at my west. I need to take photo of it so you can see from the back, back side of also. And there is the checkpoint Kautokeino. Looks really nice with the light. Uh, in the dark it wasn't so nice looking. There is someone coming with the Siberians. It looks like Baltasar. Was it Baltasar? I'm not sure. Yeah, it sounded like Baltasar. There are two teams going starting their journey to the next checkpoint which is Yergul I think and my fingers are freezing they have to make that loop from there and here they come And when they, well, again. And now they have to sign out. I don't see the number, so I don't, I can't say who they are. But yeah. And there they go. Maybe this gives you a better view. Now it seems that Anne is coming. Yaksa, yaksa. Anne was. Anne's facial hair was a little bit froze. Freezing, frozen, whatever. Now she has to sign in. And then they show her where is her place. So you can see it's quite near. Oh. This is Emmy leaving. Emmy Kairama. Someone else came after Annie. 
And again someone came. I'm just I'm just waiting that Amy is good to go. Sempia! And there goes Emmy. And Annie's team is over there. I have to point out where her depots are. Ah, it was Isabella Travadon leaving. Not Matti, but yeah. Caught on video, Isabella leaving. Now, Matti Salmi is planning to sign out from the checkpoint Katokeino. Tsemppiä. And there goes Matti. We came with Herkku to check out the checkpoint life and one team is going out from the checkpoint eight dogs with ten dogs lines Herku Herku Herko. Herko. So Anni is now sleeping. Um, she has been sleeping like one and a half hour and st still one hour to go. So in total two and a half hours. And then I will God wake her up like in one hour I am feeling like that I haven't been sleeping last night much so after Anni leaves here I will start my journey to Yerkul and try to find a parking space and try to sleep a little bit so I can manage rest of the day and yeah my brains are sleeping so not much to tell today today I mean now in this clip oh my god yeah but thank god we have energy drinks so it's time to wake up Annie. So 
so Anya is now physically waking up not I don't think that mentally but I am boiling her water so she can have her I'm juice stretching. it's the Anya's way to stretch <laughs> but yeah the plan is that Anne will leave the checkpoint one one o'clock which is like one and a half hours of, till ah <laughs> there is still one and a half hours till the planet departure from the checkpoint Anne is now walking the dogs that's Rimo and well the time is half past one so deadline deadlines didn't stick but it's better to be safe than to be sorry and have extra time for time for the rests. Anne is doing my job now. But yeah, basically I'll 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 be doing that for the <laughs> rest of the race. <laughs> Anne is ready to leave the checkpoint. And the dogs are also. At least Rimo and Os Oxy and Kaski and Kanerva. Put is like, what the fuck? And now off she goes. Anthony Tolvi left also. And here comes Annie. Champion! Nähä Jerkulissa! Off she goes. Next checkpoint is 100 kilometers away. And here comes Antoni Tolvi. Thank you. 
So Anthony is going away with seven points. Champion! There is Andreas Zirkener, Cyberian Huskies, soon leaving from the checkpoint. So Anni is now on the trail and me and Herku. Herku. Herku will start our journey to Jerkul checkpoint. Oh my god, I don't know which way I should be. Like this. Uh, it it was uh, 90 kilometers, so approx one and a half hour if I go slowly and let every car and truck behind me uh, pass me, because I am not in a hurry. Because uh, this leg from Kautokeino to Jerkul is 100 kilometers, so. I have plenty of time to explore this beautiful place. Now I'll just wait that my uh, the car in front of me will start his journey because I want to go straight because I'm not sure if this thing will go forward if I turn the tires. But well, I'm not in a hurry.